We're building a strong and awesome upper body with circuits. We have got four circuits in 40 minutes. So grab your dumbbells and let's get strong. Now, before we get into our warm up, just take note that I do have my box out here. So if you have your box, your exercise bench, a chair, a couch, something like that, have that ready for a few of the exercises. That's gonna be for our single arm bent over row and then also for a seated shoulder press. But if you do not have that, no worries. I'm gonna have a modification on screen that will be done without the box or the chair. So with that said, we're gonna get right into our warm up and follow along with the warm up because during that warm up, I'm gonna explain this workout in details and some tips to make sure that you are getting the most out of your time today with this one. So with that said, we're gonna start with just taking our arms, alternating our arms across our body. So opening up here and then taking that arm across. This workout is going to be all about strength. It's gonna be all about building definition and increasing your muscular endurance. All with this circuit style with our four circuits. Circuits are gonna vary either between three or four exercises that we're gonna repeat twice, all working between strength, hypertrophy, and endurance. We're gonna switch it up here, going for an alternating reach above he our head now, in three, two, and one. So taking that arm up overhead, just gently holding onto your wrist and pulling over that head, feeling a nice stretch through the rib cage, through the shoulders, and into the arms. Now for today's training, First exercise is gonna be all about strength. So duration is gonna be 40 seconds. We are gonna work on going slow and heavy. This is where you need to get those big weights out and lift heavy. Then we're gonna work at a moderately heavy lift for 50 seconds. That's where we're gonna bring that definition in. Finally, lighter weight, not super light, but still something challenging for 60 seconds for endurance. Last one here. Now we're gonna go into an extend and pull. So reaching those arms up overhead, we're gonna pull down, bringing those elbows back behind you. So that's gonna be the structure today. Rest in between those sets of strength, hypertrophy, and endurance is going to be short, 15 seconds. But after that, you're gonna get one minute to rest and recover, and then we will repeat everything from there. Good, and squeeze up here, reach up nice and high and then back here. This is where we squeeze those elbows together. Good, two more. And then we're gonna go into a push-up with a weightless renegade row. So last one, pull down. Now we're gonna take it down into a push-up, knees or toes, whichever option is gonna be perfectly fine here for our warm-up. So as we come down into that push-up, we're gonna take it down, push-up, hold it in the plank. Then you're gonna bring those arms up, squeeze, just like a renegade row without the weight. Good, keep that body long and strong. We wanna make sure our muscles are ready to go because we are gonna be lifting heavy right out of the gate. Good. One more after this, then we're gonna start circuit one, which is all about the back. So this is the first circuit where you're gonna need your box for those first two exercises. Last one there. So grab your box. Again, things are gonna move quick. We're gonna start lifting heavy with single arm row. We're gonna work the right side, then the left. Then we have got a reverse grip row for our hypertrophy, followed by scapular retractors for that endurance. So grab your weights, have them ready, and let's do this. Whew. And again, you'll see a modification on screen if you are not using a box or a chair. Now I'm gonna give you my weight throughout just to kind of give you a range. Right now I'm gonna use 25. We're getting ready to go. We've got five seconds out here. So 40 on the clock, going heavy. Let's row, here we go. Now remember, when we are lifting for strength, it's heavy and it's slow. So don't try to get as many reps as you can in here. Really focus on that heavy weight and when you are lifting heavy, you have to move slow because you have to stay Focus whew, on that lift the entire time. And exhale as you squeeze up. Think about bringing that shoulder blade right around the spine. We're gonna get ready to switch it over just to the other side. Good, three, two, one. Switch it over. Remember, rest is short. We're moving right into that other side. So grabbing that weight. Going slow, going heavy, lift in three, two,
two, and one. Here we go. Now make sure you've got that full range of motion. Let that arm come all the way down and then squeeze all the way up. Good. Keeping that back nice and long. So think long spine here. Drive the, the bum to the wall behind you. Almost there. Then we're moving on to hypertrophy where we're gonna build that definition. So dropping weight just slightly for moderately heavy for a reverse grip row. That's three, two, and one. Ooh, reverse grip row, we're gonna need two. I'm gonna drop it down a little bit to my 20s. Box can be out of the way. So hinging it over, reverse grip in three, two, and one. Here we go. Still taking your time, but pace is a little bit quicker. Now throughout this workout, I want you to work at your own pace. But again, just keep that focus when we're lifting for strength, that 40 seconds, slow and heavy. We move it down to hypertrophy, a little bit lighter. Pace picks it up just a bit. And then endurance, that's where we're gonna be lighter and quicker with a longer working duration. And that's gonna be coming up next. We've got those scapular retractors. So I'm gonna drop my weight down. We're gonna pick up the pace. This is a small move here. Here's three, two, and one. Nice, adjust your weight. I am dropping mine down to 15. So if you've noticed, I've dropped it down about in increments of about five this whole time. All right, scapular retractors, back flat, core engaged. Just wrap those shoulder blades around your spine. Here we go. Hold it up for a second. Good, breathing. This is gonna help improve your posture. And when we're thinking about improving our posture, we have got to work our endurance because what do we need all day long in everything we do? Good posture. Now, whether or not we have it, that's me. I need to work on that. So it's exercises like this that will help improve your posture overall, building up that endurance to keep those muscles strong oh, the entire time. Good, almost there. I know, 60 seconds when we bump it up. Oh, but your minute is coming. So there is gonna be a minute of rest in between this circuit here. We're gonna hit it again. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, okay. Yep, moving back into it. Going into that right arm row, then the left arm row, reverse grip, scapular retractor. So if you can adjust your weight up at all for any of those, keep it in mind and get it ready to go now. I'm gonna keep my weights actually a little bit closer. So again, we've still got about 30 seconds. So if you want to do that, you can get ready for that. I am gonna try to bump my strength move up here though. So challenge yourself. This is the last time. This is all focused on back. Last time we're hitting back right here. So bringing it down, getting into position. We've got about 15 seconds. Let's grab our weight. All right, five seconds out. Lifting in three, two, and one. Here we go, row. Slow and squeeze. Good. Now when we're lifting strength, and we've got this 40 seconds on the clock, if you are looking for a rep range, we're working maybe six to eight reps, kind of depending on that exercise. So again, not many reps. Ooh. Should be starting to hit failure now with this strength exercise. Every rep should be tough during this circuit. Here's three, two, and one. Whew. That goes for the strength, hypertrophy, and endurance we're working. Every rep should be tough with this different type of variation we've got going on. Switching it up, going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep 
Keep that arm close to your body and squeeze. Oh. Definitely should be feeling the shake. Well over halfway. Come on, just a couple more reps. You've got it. We're getting ready for our reverse grip rows in three, two, oh, and one. Oh my. All right. Done with the heavy, moderately heavy reverse grip row. Grab your weight. Palms away. Back flat. Core en engage. Drive the bum to the wall behind you. And we row. Here we go. Now, pace is picked up just a little bit, but you are still focused on full range and getting that squeeze in. Now, with this rep range, we're working 10, maybe 12 reps or so in our 50 seconds. Depending on the exercise, you may have a couple more. Over halfway. Scapular retractors are next. That's where we're gonna build that endurance. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. Good, scapular retractors, adjust your weight. Going with that slightly lighter weight now. Back flat, core engaged. Remember, just squeezing the shoulder blades around your spine. Very small move, here we go. Now with endurance, we're pushing our reps up. 18, 20, maybe even 22. Because we're getting a little squeeze around the spine, the reps might not be quite as high, but the endurance burn is definitely there. And if you do need to bring it up for a quick break, feel free to do that, but get right back into it just as soon as you can. Almost there. We are done with our back circuit after this. We're gonna move on to circuit two, less than 10. Remember that minute of rest is coming. Here it is, three, two, and one. Oh my. All right, let's talk circuit two. Now circuit two is gonna be the only circuit that we're gonna combine two muscle groups. We're gonna have that big muscle group, the chest, with our smaller muscle group, the triceps. So this is the only one like, that's gonna be like this. We still have four exercises in this um, circuit, but we're gonna switch it up. So the first one we had two strength, 40 seconds. Now we're gonna do our strength. We're gonna have one strength for 40, which is chest press. Then we're gonna do narrow press for our hypertrophy, 50 seconds. Then we're gonna have two endurance exercises, chest flies and tricep overhead extension. So make sure, get your weight for chest, we can get the box out of the way. So chest press first, I'm gonna bump it to 25 pounds. Let's bring it down, getting ready to go. 40 seconds on, remember, slow and heavy. Five seconds, going in three. Here's two and one, 40 on. Now take your time as you press it up and then control it down. Squeeze those chest muscles here. And exhale as you press up, good. Almost there, and then narrow chest press is going to be next. Here it is, three, two, and one, narrow chest press, moderately heavy on this one. I'm gonna drop it to 20, roll it back, palms face each other, going in three, two, and one, here we go. Good, so as you come down, keep those arms nice and close. Now with this one, weight's a little bit lighter. 
So we can pick that pace up just a bit. Keep that form though, wrists are straight, punch the ceiling, down. Good, and exhale. So two endurance moves coming up next. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. <gasps> nice. All right. Chest flies. I need to get some lighter weights over here. I'm going to bump it to 15 for this. But again, pick that weight that is going to challenge you for endurance. That may be up. That may be below what I'm lifting. This is your training session. So 60 seconds on in three, two, and one. Here we go. Chest flies. Now pace increases just a bit. Exhale as you squeeze up. Now this is really targeting the chest. So in the strength exercise, it was big on the chest. Triceps come in a little bit during that chest press as well. And then that close grip works the chest, but also with that position, we've got the triceps. So now we are isolating those chest muscles and then we're gonna isolate the triceps with our endurance. Whew. And we are almost there. So we're gonna bring it up to stand for that tricep overhead extension. Remember, things move quick with this short break. And here we go, countdown is on. We've got three, two, and one. Tricep overhead extension. One or two dumbbells for this one. Let's bring it up. We go in three, two, and one. Ooh. Good. All the way down, all the way up. Exhaling as you press up. Now think about the back of the arm right here. That's what's working. And you will feel it when you get that full extension all the way up, driving those hands to the ceiling, contract the back of the arm and just watch that muscle. Well, you don't have to watch it because I don't really think my eyeballs would go back there like that. But feel, that's a better word. Feel that muscle just light up. Oh my goodness. So you know we get to repeat this circuit once more through. We're gonna get one minute. So I, for that minute, I want you to just rest. Just let the arms take a break. Here it is, three, two, <laughs> oh, and one. That was not even, I couldn't even, oh my God. One minute, whoo. Didn't I say we we're gonna build awesome, strong, an awesome, strong upper body? We're doing it. I would definitely say we are on the right track. And we are also over halfway through. Now for this second round, through these four exercises. If you can give a little bit more weight, don't back down, don't be shy. Get your strong on. We showed up for this today, 40 minutes, and that's it. So we're gonna get ready to go back into that. Our strength, chest press. Hypertrophy, narrow press. Then we're gonna work endurance by really targeting the chest with chest flies, then the triceps with those tricep overhead extensions. Adjust your weight if you can by going up. This looks like, this is a mess around here. All right, so going back to chest press, lift heavy. I'm gonna bump it up a little bit for myself. Whew. So bringing it down, we've got about five seconds. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go, press. So nice and slow and heavy. Whew. Now lifting, when we have heavy lift days, lifting heavy, during these training sessions is what is gonna help you up your weight when we do hypertrophy. So just keep that in mind that this is a progression. So that's why we, we constantly want to be working to lift heavier, even if it's for one set, even if it's for a couple reps. Speaking of a couple reps, let's do our countdown. We got three, two, 
and one. Oh, narrow press now. So adjust your weights down just a bit. Bring those palms together. Go in here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Press it up. Now, remember, pace picks it up just a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna remind you of that throughout <laughs> just because I want you to keep pushing yourself. That's why I don't want you to keep it at too slow of a pace where you're holding it at the bottom too long. We're gonna keep this pace up <sighs> so we can really start to build that definition, lifting the chest, <sighs> tightening up the triceps or the back of the arm there. <sighs> Oh my goodness, almost there. So moving on to endurance next, chest flies in three, two, and one. Nice, Whew. chest flies. Grabbing your weights, adjusting your weights. All right, bring it up. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go, chest isolation. Open it up nice and wide. Squeeze the chest muscles. So right here, I'm gonna remind you of the infamous armpit egg. <laughs> if you haven't heard me talk about the armpit egg, you are in for a real treat because this is going to take your chest exercises to the next level. What I want you to think about is an egg in your armpit and as you come up, you are squeezing, okay? Try to crack that egg, squeeze, and I'm telling you, as soon as you do that, you will feel that activate even more, which is what we want. That is how, that's what helps you make that mind-muscle connection. Whew. Oh, almost there, wrists are straight. Come on in, squeeze. So remember, tricep overhead extension next. We're gonna bring it quickly to our feet, grabbing our weight. Here's three, two, and one. Oh. Wow, all right, tricep overhead extension, grab it. Five out, <laughs> bring it up, and we begin, here we go. All the way down, all the way up. Now remember, keep that pace quick, but not too quick that you cannot get a full range in with this exercise. So remember, work it all the way down. When you get to the top, that arm, those arms, I should say, punching the ceiling, tighten up the back of the arm. Really feel that working the tricep. Oh, how do we still have 30 seconds left? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm so glad you're pushing me right now. <laughs> Thanks for being here. We're pushing each other because we got goals and we're getting them. Oh my goodness. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. One minute. Now we are working uh, shoulders. This circuit, these last two circuits are exactly the same, but they're a little bit shorter because they only have three exercises. So the two main muscle groups that we have left, shoulders, we're hitting next, then we're gonna hit biceps. So with shoulders, the three exercises, same format, strength, hypertrophy, endurance. We're gonna work a seated shoulder press. So this is where if you got your box, we're gonna bring it out. If you have every weight that you own out as well, let's go, come on, we're here for that today. Then we're gonna do a standing Arnold press followed by steering wheel. So grab your box, your chair. For this seated shoulder press, go heavy here. This seated allows us to only target that uh, the, the shoulder muscle. So let's go, where are we going? I'm gonna try to go 20. So have a seat, shoulder press, and we begin. Now you, modification, you'll see that just standing. I am only adjusting my hair so that it doesn't hit the mic. I don't want your muscles to be burning and your ears to be annoyed with my hair on the microphone. So remember strength, slow tempo, get the full range. It is very heavy, wrists are straight, so punch that ceiling. 
almost there. Then we're gonna bring it to standing. Three, two, oh, and one. Arnold press. So palms are gonna face, uh, face you, and then as we press up, we're gonna press those arms out. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Exhale as you press up. Whew. Nice job, halfway. This is where definition comes in. This is where we are working on that definition. So right now, we're working on that nice rounded shoulder. I'm reminding you of that because I know it's getting so tough and sometimes we just need those little cues like, wait a second, this is working. I am doing it. Here's three, two, and one. One dumbbell now for steering wheel. That's where we're gonna take that dumbbell up parallel. We do a little turn to the right, turn to the left, and then back down. Going in three, two, and one. So take it up and then steer. Good, and down. So again, working that endurance, and you'll feel that right away because we're gonna hold that weight up a little bit longer. We're keeping that pace up. Weight is lighter. Whew. Anytime, too, if you need to adjust weight, especially as we get further into this workout, these other muscles, the biceps, the shoulders, have still been coming into play with the other circuits. Not necessarily directly, but they are coming in as secondary muscles in some of those exercises. So that's why you're probably thinking, Okay, I've not even done any shoulders yet, but yet this first rep feels so challenging. Good breathing. Almost there. Here it is, three, two, and one. One minute to rest. Breathe. Okay, what can I do here? This just uh, probably won't need 30s anymore. I'm gonna put my 30s away. <laughs> if you wanna take some time to clean up your space, feel free to do that. Or if you're like, uh, no, I am not using my arms any more than I need to. I'm kind of questioning my decision right now to clean this up, but <laughs> oh well. Whew. We're gonna get ready to go back into that seated shoulder press. Three more exercises, and then one more circuit. One of my favorite muscle groups to work is the finale, the biceps. All right, grab your weights for that seated shoulder press. And let's bring it down. Going here in three, two, and one. Press it out. Good, keep that form, keep that chest up, keep that head up. Couple more reps, you got it. Woo! Last time for this, we got it. Here's three, two, and one. Ah, all right, we are going into an Arnold press and I actually have to bump it down oh, to my, my shoulders aren't, I'm not gonna be able to get through it. All right, so dumbbells up, going here in three, two, and one. So sometimes, especially as we get further and further into our workout, we do have to bump it down a little bit. And that is okay. So even if this might be, for me, this would be considered a little bit on the lighter side if I was just starting my workout. But now that these muscles are fatigued, whoa, even for this 10 pounds is feeling 
heavy. But this is gonna allow me to keep good form. So you always wanna keep that in mind when picking your weight. Form, crucial, okay? Almost there. Three, two, one. Steering wheel, we're gonna finish off with steering wheel. So one dumbbell. Final shoulder exercise. And then we're gonna hit biceps. So shoulders roll down and back. Going in three, two, and one. Whew, good. Remember, keep that pace up with this last set. If you need to adjust your weight, you can. There it is, half weight. I'm gonna have to bump it down to finish with my form. Almost there. Keep it strong, because this is it for shoulders. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice job. Biceps, all about the biceps now. So we are going to work heavy with bicep curls. Then we're gonna switch it up to hammer curls to help build that definition. And then we are gonna finish out endurance with pump curls. Pump curls, we've been, we've been training with these for the last few weeks and they are challenging. You will see. So that is going to be our endurance. Where we're going to focus on lighter. We're done with the box as well. So we're, we're done with it for the day. So that can go back to where it came from and start heavy with biceps. So again, remember, you can adjust if you need to. I'm just leaving this out here because I don't even know what's going to happen. <laughs> and I want to be prepared. So grab those heavy weights for bicep curls. I'm going to try to bump it for 25 for this. Again, I am working on increasing little by little for my hypertrophy lifts. So again, challenge yourself. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Just to reiterate, I'm not trying to tell you my weight so that um, for any sort of comparison, it's just to give you a range. Again, you could be lifted heavier than me. You might be below, does not matter because this is your training. We are all on our own journeys with this. So wherever you are, that does not matter. It's keeping that form and lifting heavy for you and being consistent. That is gonna get you where you wanna go. <sighs> Almost there. Three, two, and one. 15 seconds, hammer curls. <sighs> Dropping it to 15 for this. Five seconds out, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. I prefer a staggered stance. Um, you might see that my position switched with my feet here. I like the staggered stance for hammer curls because I feel like it allows the dumbbells to come down right next to my legs. Where if I'm in a wider stance, I feel like my legs sort of block the dumbbells from coming down, which prevents me from getting full range. But whatever you're comfortable with, again, just focus on that full range. Up and down, all the way down. Let that muscles completely relax here at the bottom and then contract it all the way up. Pump curls are gonna be next. Keep those arms close to your body. Elbows back. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Pump curls. I'm even gonna grab my five pounds because I am not joking. These are an absolute burner. So just, why not? Why not just bring all the weights out? Pump curls, here we go. 60 seconds on. Now with pump curls, it's not swinging the weights. You're still squeezing and contracting that bicep muscle to bring the weights up. But keeping a quicker pace. Goodness. I don't know what me moving my legs around is going to do for my biceps, but 
for some reason, I feel like it's going to help. Oh my goodness, you got it. Come on, keep it strong. Almost there. Relax those shoulders. Don't let the shoulders creep up on you. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Nice. One minute to rest. Going back into heavy bicep curls for strength. Last time. So with that, we have got less than three minutes of work. We've got what? Yeah, well, uh, I'm trying to do the math. <laughs> a minute and 30 to go. A minute and 30 of work until we hit the end. That sounds amazing. You've worked so hard. And I'm sure the upper body is gonna be feeling it tomorrow in the best way possible. Let's get back with our heavy weights for this final 40 seconds of bicep curls. Go ahead and bring it up. Whew. 10 seconds and we go. Don't shy away on this last set. If you need to adjust your weights down, fine, but let's start heavy and let's go from there. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Good, and exhale as you squeeze. I'm just gonna make the most ridiculous faces right now just to, in case you're shy about going heavy because you're like, I'm breathing weird and my face is doing all sorts of crazy things. Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> that is okay. So I'm just gonna try to be as wild as possible. Just uh, almost there. <sighs> Guys, I'm, I'm real, we're shooting for it today. <sighs> Here it is. Three, two, and one. <sighs> All right, hammer curls. So again, keep those elbows tucked in, elbows back, shoulders down, and we lift. Stay focused. We are halfway. I'm gonna bump it down. I know that my form is starting to, to go. And you can even think about that weight being just a little bit heavier than it is. And that will also help you contract those muscles even more. Almost there. And then it's pump girls to finish. Here's three, two, and one. Oh, pump curls. We're going, we're going for it. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna start heavier. Don't cheat yourself. Come on, if you need to go down, you can. 60 seconds in three, two, and one, pump it out. This is it. I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again. You never know what you're capable of until you go for it. I could have just kept my fives, but I'm actually able to do some with my tens. So just think about that. Just if, even if you start heavier and you get one rep, that's one rep more than you would have done if you didn't try at all. So keep that in mind. We're all about showing up and failure is a good thing when it comes to strength training. That's how we learn, that's how we grow. And you are doing that right now. Almost there. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Oh my God. Rest it out. That was absolutely incredible. You are incredible. I am telling you what. That was no easy task and you showed up, you made it count, and I know you are going to be stronger because of it. There is something about 40 minutes in your day, and you know, this was one of our longer workouts, but taking that time is going to help you grow and change so much. So I just wanna say, I am so glad you showed up. 
There is power and press and play. I love you. Do not forget, we have got a special upper body stretch just for workouts like these to finish off. So make sure you check that out. Thank you for being here today, and I love you.